Haro, one of the kicks to creating this channel was to unravel bizarre subjects in the tokusatsu world, like Geo's timeline. This is something I wanted to do since it was on air, around 2018 or 2019. I followed it from Sunday to Sunday, and like most of you, each episode only boggled my mind more. And to our disappointment, when the series ended, we fans still didn't understand anything, and to be honest, the timeline of the entire franchise is a big area, but that's also a story for another video. I'm here to talk specifically about Joe, because in the fandom, it's kind of understood that all the old writers we see are kind of alternative versions just from that Joe universe. Before recording this video I studied a lot, I read a lot of the writer wiki, so I don't come here talking a lot of nonsense, because my intention here is to explain to those who have just watched it, or want to watch it, I think it's difficult, how all these immersions work storms that Sugo and company do, the way I wish they had explained it to me. As I said, I needed to reanalyze some facts about the series because I finished it already four years ago, so we need to go through phases. Without further ado, first we have the world of Tsukuyomi and Swartz in which humans govern time and space, without having any common rider in that world, so their time does not align with the other worlds, and this would take this world ceases to exist. When his sister would be crowned queen, Swartz is consumed by hatred and decides to rule all space-time himself, and the easiest way was to create a certain someone who would steal the power of all the common riders, and that would be Omijio. For me, AR is enough for decade, so facing the fact that the riders we see in this series are not the ones we met is very difficult for me, so honestly I still fight with myself today because what I accept within myself is that all the riders series, crossovers so far, are from a single world, which I'll call World A, the one in which they even persecuted Tsukasa for being an invader lol ok, decade is a topic for another video. Anyway, Sugo's world is another one without riders, I'll call it World Alignment of Worlds, and also forms Team Jackers to help create distorted versions of the riders in different years of the World A, creating different worlds with each change so that at the end of the plan, everything collides in World X, which becomes like a sun, in that revolve around thanks to the creation of the Jucky Driver and the Reduaches in this world when was it convenient. But that's a topic for other videos about the origins of Ryder's powers. Anyway, what Swartz didn't count on was that his sister, who had disappeared, would end up in the case of wrong time in the wrong place, she ended up right in world governing in chaos, he would join a resistance that would go back to the past trying to stop everything, and that's where our mess begins, because until a certain part of the series the corruptions work one way, then another. So I'm going to make a diagram here with my own hands of how I interpreted the changes in this series. Starting from McShade to Ghost, when the Jacker team created another rider in World A, of our known riders, it divided the timeline into two versions. A first version where none of this had happened and the story follows the path we already know. This first version A simply merges into Sugo's world, World X, which is why he had never seen these riders in action. In the second version, which I will call B, the rider loses his powers and the world sort of belongs to another rider who prevails, while the powers of the original rider start to be stored in Reduaches that Sugo himself brought from his world giving a Reduach to someone in World B automatically caused another Reduach to appear in World and World go to that timeline B in which the Emu lost his powers, destroys the other rider, and leaves the Reduach in the Emu's hand, which reflects in the hand of the Emu from World A that collided with World A. But this Akshade A that helped Sugo ceases to exist, it was only used for Geo to store the powers in the Reduach and open a bridge for World B to start the collision that Swartz wanted so much. Mind blown, right? Because it's worst with build which I left to talk about last among these first honorees, since the end of the build already involved the fusion of worlds. So let's go, when another build appeared in November 2017, they were in the world of build A8 was still the one separated by a sky wall, on that day they lost their powers when version B appeared, but they received reduaches from Sugo. 
is for Central A and Banjo A. They followed the normal story in which the Pandora box created a new land in which only the duo ended up, but this coincidentally was a land of Sugo. So in this scene here Senta has a reduetch without even know why, because you received it before everything changed to version B, understand? In 2018, the duo Senta A and Banjo A formed a band in the beginning, but they didn't last long since at the moment another build was destroyed by G the build armor. The timeline B collides with world it only becomes evident at the end of the series when the Skywall and other worlds begin to appear around the Sugo. Anyway, this confusing start without much explanation at the beginning of the series discouraged a lot of people, among other factors such as the actor's charisma, but that's a subject for a review video, I'm here to explain what no one has ever explained, so breathe and let's go to the second phase from G when we reach 2019. As I said, Decade is the subject of another video, but it is a fact that he is the Dean so in the drift of space-time, never being affected by any dimensional change, there are no A or B, and from in the same way that Jucky Driver and Reduaches appear from beyond the grave, Tsukasa manages to store his powers in a Reduach that is different from him, and it is only when he appears in the series that everything changes, starting with the events of the Heisei Generations, which is more difficult to understand than any another thing. You just have to know that Karuga B and WB join World X without Sugo even needing to know Goda or Shotaro simply by defeating their other riders. With Ryuki it's a different case, since in the original world all 13 riders lose their powers and memories, but the Timajackers find a way to invade the world of mirrors sealed for years to create another rider, a reflection of our Shinji in current time. That's why a Ryuki B doesn't appear and Sugo doesn't even need to travel through time doing that whole time loop or deliver Reduach. From what I understand, this Ryuki arc only serves to create a reflection of Sugo and thus double Geo's powers that's why the Geo 2 form appears and Ryuki's events automatically merge with the XX world. That's why a few weeks later there's that second rider battle, which I mentioned in my Ryuki chronology video, where Shinji remembers everything, another Ryuki and then he deposits all his powers in rider wacks for Sugo to use. From then on, I believe, the producers realized that there was no need to continue the whole mess of time travel, lines A and B, because doing that with older series would require work, making up actors to rejuvenate them, etc. At this point, Waz had already appeared, Guys revives, the riders of the future, Sugo discovers that he gained powers in childhood, in short, everything that would culminate in the day Oma that Swartz expected didn't happen, and the script writers, I mean Timajackers, started to create another riders in 2019 itself, bringing old riders to the world of Sugo riders years after their original stories had already ended, continuing certain clashes as we saw in Blade, Ajito, Hibiki, Kiva, Kabuto, Deno and Drive, which also ultimately deposited the powers in the Rediwacts, who created Grand Geo, an uncorrupted version of Oma Geo, who did not obtain his powers by force. Regardless, Swartz had achieved what he wanted, 19 timelines colliding in Sugo's world and even took for himself the powers of that certain rider who had neither version A nor B, but Geo altering his own world X so many times, visiting and talking to himself in 26 died on several occasions, Swartz didn't count that our Sugo would choose to face the corrupted powers, but choosing a different path from the Demon King and resetting history. And no, I'm not going to waste my time trying to understand Over Quartzer, a summer film that features the four illegitimate high save powers that are treated as show it to this day, Black RX, Shin, Zo and Jay, and serves as a tribute to the drive y'all that in the series only one version of Chase appeared that was still Machine Chaser at the beginning. Anyway, what I found interesting in this film was the fact that Issa from Drop Hump fucks with everything, calling himself Sugo 2, placing all the blame on our Sugo. According to his own words the Heisei era that was broken into disconnected and inadequate environments, rebuilding everything into a unified worldview under his control, all this only to be destroyed by Arsugo who did a lot of good with the purity of Grand Geo with Oma Geo's corrupted watch. But returning to the focus, back in 2019 when all this crazy stuff ended, the final scene we see is that each rider gains a world for themselves with their stories return. Returning to normal, NGO's world initially houses the current riders from the Raiwa era, so that Sugo met Zero One, who met Knowledge, who met Revis, who met Jeets, who will now meet Gotchard. Phew, 
I said so much in this video that I don't even have the saliva to finish it, I just ask that if you think this video was relevant, leave a like for my effort here and also if you liked it because I'll come back here with more content about these crazy bikers that we like see venturing around Japan. Janai.